on the heels of the gold rush in 1849 followed crime and lawlessness. Bandits and outlaws murdered honest miners for their gold. Years later, mining companies organized, but to some extent the evil still persisted until finally the ever-reliable United States Marshals were asked to enlist in the miners' war on crime. We move now to a mining town in New Mexico and join Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Larson in the office of the Aztec Mining Company. Lane Prentice, the company's express manager, is reading a letter Lightning has given him from the Attorney General in Washington. Hmm. Well, it says in this letter that you boys have been assigned to track down the vermin that's been murdering our guards and stealing our gold. When are you figuring to start, Marshal? Just as soon as Whitey here can water the horses while I get the lowdown on these thieving coyotes. Here, wait a minute, Lightning. Ain't we going to put on a feedback first? <laughs> you wish my stomach is crawling worse than a star street, Charles. <laughs> I got some bread and cheese in my pack. We'll eat it on trail. Oh, that's good. What about it, Prentice? Can you give us any clue to the hombres that's been doing this dirty work? I'm afraid not, Marshal. All I know is that the gold shipments ain't coming through from the mine in Hernandez. Of course, I've got my suspicion. What kind of suspicion? Well, I don't like to gab about a man behind his back, Marshal, but... Well, this new fellow up to the mines, Jeff Allen, has been acting mighty suspicious lately. Yeah? What's his business? He's the new field boss at Hernandez in charge of shipping the gold. I see. You kind of figure Alan's responsible for seeing to it that the gold don't get here, huh? Well, I ain't sure. But all I know is them shipments were never held up till Jeff Allen was appointed field boss. What's more, Allen and me are the only ones who know when the gold's coming through. Mm, well, guess me and Whitey better hop along and take a gander at Mr. Allen. What trail do we take? Well, there's only one trail you can take, Marshal, and that's through the mountains. I see. And take a guide with you, and when you get to Hernandez, keep your eye peeled. My hunch is that Jeff Allen knows more about them murders and the stolen gold than he's admitting. We must be halfway to Hernandez by now. That is, providing Pedro, the guide up ahead there, so he knows the trail. Early Pedro knows the trail, all right, Lightning. He tell me he used to ride it for the mining company before the gold was stolen. That's so. Say, uh, you got an idea who's doing it, Lightning? No, Whitey, I ain't. Our friend Prentice wasn't much help. Senore! What is it, Pedro? This is place, Senore, where El Bandito killed guards and steal gold. Well, I want to give this place a look, see. <coughs> Maybe there's a clue to the Jasper that's been doing all this killing and stealing. Oh. What you got there, Whitey? Well, don't go and find no lightning. Uh, yes, the piece of silver, I reckon. Let me look at it. Well, you old polecat. That's a bullet. Silver bullet. Silver bullet? I don't blame you, though, for not recognizing it. In a shoot nine manufactured nowadays, it'll fire a slug like this. Hmm. Innocent-looking plating, ain't it? The silver bullet, senor. It is the same bullet El Bandito used to kill El Capitan of the gold train. Yeah? So, that's the story, eh? First time I heard of a killer using a silver bullet. But it puts a mighty interesting light on... Mother Down, come the door! Yo, get down here. Get the cover, quick! That's where the shooting's coming from, buddy. Over there behind that rock. See the smoke? Oh, I see it, the sneaking skunk. I show him something. Oh, 
sure missed him by golly. There he goes. Look at him hightail it out of there. Well, I get him for sure this time. Too late, Whitey. He's ducked out of sight. I'd give a week's pay to get a peek at that Jasper's face. Steady, Thunder. Come on. Let's hit the trail. We got some tall riding to do. Come on, boy. You think, oh, you, you think the, the fellow knows who we are, Lightning? That's just what I'm thinking. There's only one hombre knows we have taken the trail to Hernandez today. Unless my guess is plumb local, Whitey. The snake that's been aiming to kill us is our friend Prentice. <laughs> Arriving in Hernandez, Jim and Whitey went immediately to the office of Jeff Allen. I'm mighty glad you've come, Marshal. If anybody can get at the murder and yellow bellies, you're the one. Thanks, Mr. Allen. After providing target practice for one of them this afternoon, I'm just itching to lay hands on that gang. You're that course for me, too, by golly. Tell me, Mr. Allen, you ever seen the likes of this before? I sure have, Marshal. Yeah? It's a silver bullet. The same kind of slug that's been used to murder the leader of the pack train every time the gold is stolen. And there's all as located clean through the heart. You don't be near that Jasper must be a dead shot, all right. I tell you, Marshal, that Jasper, that's the brains of this gang, ain't no ordinary killer. Every time a shipment is held up, them Mexicans of mine, hightail it out of the mountains, are blabbering about evil spirits, dressed like ghosts. With grinning skulls on their chest. Yeah? Yeah. By the time I heard them back, the gang's vamoosed with the gold. I see. You never met up with these gun-toting ghosts yourself, did you, Mr. Allen? No, Marshal, I didn't. My job is to stay here and supervise the camp. But if we can't get the gold through to Youngsville, there ain't no sense in mining it. I'm taking the next shipment through myself. Yeah? When you're planning your next shipment? Thursday. Thursday? That's two days away. Uh Does Prentice know about it? What? Sure. He knows every time I ship the gold. Tell me, Mr. Allen, has there ever been any bad blood between you and Prentice? Oh, I wouldn't call it that, Marshal. He, he was just a mite put out because I was appointed field boss up here instead of him, that's all. I see. Hey, you ain't suspecting Prentice? No, no, I ain't suspecting nobody yet. One last question, Mr. Allen. Huh? Do you know of an hombre in this part of the country that collects Spanish antiques? Uh... You mean, uh, family heirlooms and stuff like that? That's it. Jewels, you know, old furniture. Maybe even guns that was used a couple of centuries ago. Matter of fact, the do, Marshal. Yeah? Yeah. Don Felipe Ramirez, his name is. And to hear him talk, he's got the finest collection of Spanish antiques in the country. Where does this Don Felipe hang out, Miss Allen? He lives in that big rancho up there on the hill. But you can generally locate him at the Cafe La Casa Ora. Thanks. Hmm. Come on, Whitey. Let's play a little visit to La Casa Ora. <laughs> See that dark, sinister-looking Spaniard at that table over there, Whitey? Uh, you mean the Yeager with the long sideburns and the black mustache? Yeah, that's the one. That's Don Felipe Ramirez. I had the bartender point him out. Come on, we'll go over and introduce ourselves. I got me an idea, Whitey. Good evening, Senor Ramirez. Well, my name is Jim. This is my assistant, Ben Olsen. Hey, oh, uh, pleased to meet you. Uh, senores, uh, what can I do for you? Senor Ramirez, I'm the purchase an agent for a wealthy antique collector in San Francisco. The name I'm not at liberty to disclose. My client has heard of your excellent collection of Spanish antiques, and uh, he sent me down here to make you an offer. <laughs> your client is a wise man, senor. My collection is famous all over the world. Yes. Many of my pieces have been bequeathed to me by my ancestors. Well, that's so. Well, yeah. Then you'll uh, show us your collection, Don Felipe? Oh, mis amigos, it is such a pity you have traveled so far for nothing. My collection, it is not for sale. Oh, that's too bad. However, maybe you like I show it to you, eh? Yes, sure <laughs> would. Sure, come, senor. We go to my rancho. I show you something you will not forget. Well, 
Don Felipe's collection of antiques betray the identity of the mysterious bandit killer, we'll follow the two marshals on their adventures in just a moment. And now for part two of the thrilling adventures of Lightning Jim and the Silver Bullet. Masquerading as purchasing agents for a wealthy antique collector, Lightning Jim and Whitey have been invited by Don Felipe Ramirez to see his collection of Spanish heirlooms. We join them now at Don Felipe's rancho. Well, senores, what do you think of Don Felipe's collection, eh? Well, sir, that's the most complete collection of Spanish antiques I've ever seen. Your order, so. That's a mighty interesting pair of silver-mounted pistols hanging over the fireplace, Don Felipe. Mind if I take a look at them? Do not touch them, sir. Huh? Do not touch them. Why, I am so sorry. I do not mean to be rude, senor, but these pistols, they are my most prized possession. Very old and brittle. If you touch them, they fall apart. Oh, well, they look strong enough to shoot. Nevertheless, senor, you will not take them from the wall. Senor. You uh, wish to see me, Pancho? Si, senor Ramirez. Pardon, uh, senores. Sure. Senor Princess, he waits for you in the office. Gracias. Uh, You will excuse me, senores. There is a matter I must understand. That's all right, Don. Hey, oh, take your time. Quick, Whitey. We gotta act fast. Hey, what you going to do, Lightning? We're gonna have a look at them pistols the Don's so anxious about. I got a hunch the gun that fired this silver bullet you picked up on the trail is hanging right on this wall. Did I not say you to come to the rancho only when I sent for you? Now don't worry, boss. Nobody saw me. I sneaked in through the secret passage. I just had to come to warn you. To warn me? Yeah. I had a visit this morning from two United States Marshals. Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Larson. They're in an end is right now. Investigate them holdups we pulled off. Why you not come tell me this morning? Because I was following Whipple as far as the divide. Tried to slug him, but he... Yeah. What do these Lightning Jim look like? Well, he's a two-fisted buckaroo. Tall, rangy. And they say he can pull a gun faster than a rattler can strike. Why do you Swede? Is it... Swede? One of those is a Swede? Yeah. Well, that's wrong, boss. Wait. Come here. Now, look. Look through those cracks in the door. And tell me what you see. Jump and Jim. Huh? That's Lightning Jim Whipple and Whitey Larson, the two marshals I've been telling you about. So, they think to make those fool of Don Filippi, eh? We will see. You suppose they suspect you were stealing the golden cloak and the guard? Of course they suspect you, fool. Come with me when I get a gun. I will show the senor Weeper what it means to make the joke with Don Felipe. Look, Whitey, how wild and shiny these pistols are. They've been in the Don family for hundreds of years, all right. But I'm wagering they've been fired as recently as last week. Hand me that silver bullet. You will hear it this like this. See if the silver bullet fits in them, the pistol. But it proves that Don Philip killed the Lord and stole the gold in that day. Yeah, it would prove the bullet was fired from the Don's pistol, Sweaty. But it wouldn't prove the Don pulled the trigger. That's what we've got to prove. Yeah. There the gun's all right. Just muckle it and help a bullet get to them barrels. No. See? See, I found something, too. Look here in this pistol box and the mantle. Shoo. You sure have, partner. A sharpshooter's medal. According to Jeff Allen... Each of them guards that died with a silver bullet clean through his heart. Oh. Only a supermarksman handling these hands could have done that. 
And this medal testifies that Don Felipe is just the kind of a sharpshooter that we've been looking for. You are very smart, Senor huh? Weasel. Keep your hands up, Senor. Look out for him, boss. He's crazy lightning on the draw. Uh, it's about time you hoisted your true colors, Prentice. Next time you aim to kill me, I hope your shooting's a powerful lot sharper than it was back there on the trail. There ain't gonna be no next time for you, Whipple. Your number's up right now. That is talking off. You will be so kind to give me those pistols and the silver bullets, Senor Weaver. Gracias. Senor Prentice, uh, you will take away the guns of the prisoner. <laughs> you bet I will, boy. <laughs> that is good. Now, amigos, you will go as I direct. The Senor Weeper is a lover of rare antiques, Senor Prentice. <laughs> Maybe in my underground chamber of order, we will find some little instrument of torture <laughs> with which to amuse him, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Late that night, Lane Prentice and Don Felipe hold a conference in the Spaniard's private office. Mm, you seem nervous. Well, I am. A United States government men, and when they're missed... <laughs> you underestimate Don Felipe, senor. Our friends, the marshal, will be gone pronto like the wind. I have the way of making men disappear. The way I've been bequeathed to me by my ancestors. <laughs> when will the gold be shipped again? Now, Thursday. That's two nights from now. Jeff Allen's aiming to take the shipment through himself. I think you do not like those, Senor Allen, huh? You're thinking straight, boss. I've been aching to get even with that double-crossing polecat ever since he had himself appointed field boss instead of me. It'll be a pleasure to see you put that silver bullet in his heart, Thursday. <laughs> Maybe, Senor, you like it better if the gold is shipped tomorrow, huh? Then, no, Senor Allen, you have one day left to live. <laughs> hey, that'll be great. <laughs> How are you going to fix it? <laughs> I myself can do nothing, senor. But I think maybe we persuade the senor Weeper to arrange it for us, huh? <laughs> Listen closely, amigo. Buddy. Why do you wake up? Chambers to the wall last night, are you, partner? Oh, I think I forget all right, lightning. Oh, what's the matter? I've been sleeping on some kind of an old weapon. It looks like a short iron spear. Better hang on to it, Whitey. If we can trick Prentice or the Spaniard into coming close enough to us, it might come in handy. Yo, I used to take it if he gets the chance, I tell you. Say, hey, Whitey, take a candle of that rope hanging on the wall over there. Yo, I see. It's marked with skull and bones on the front. Yeah. Death's head. Just like Jeff Allen said, scared the fight out of his Mexicans. It made him desert the gold they were supposed to be guarding. Well, I guess they pushed that down as the thief, all right. Yeah, but it still don't prove that Don killed the guard. Somebody's coming. You're probably the Spaniard apprentice. Set on that iron thing, you got to be ready. I got a hunch we can use it to make a break. If you see an opening, give me an eye. All right. Buenos dias, senores. You, uh, Sleep well, huh? Sure. Personally, I like sleeping in irons better than on a feather mat. <laughs> Our friend has the sense of humor, Senor Prentice. <laughs> he laugh out of the other side of his mouth before we're through with him, boss. Oh, si, Senor. <laughs> now we make the better joke, eh? Si. <laughs> Give those pen and paper to the Senor Weeple. Sure, boss. Now, Senor, you will write what I tell you. Well, you'll have to unlock these irons first. Man can't write with his hands tied. Oh, si, sí, bueno. Unlock the chains from the senor's wrist, senor Prentice. You better watch him. He's greased lightning. You will address the letter to the senor Jeff Allen. 
Write the following, amigo. Young keep off. You plan to ship gold tomorrow. Ship gold tonight. And trick them. I will join you later. Now, Senor Weeper, you will sign it. No, Ramirez. Jeff Allen's taking the gold through himself. If I send him this note, it'll be the same as sending him to his death. <laughs> that is the joke, amigo. You are not amused, eh? If you do not sign the note, senor, I make you to laugh with the torture my ancestors used. I'm not a fool, Don Felipe. You're just army enough to do it. All right. I'll sign. <laughs> you are one smart man, senor. I give this knot with your silver bullet to Pancho to take to those, senor Allen. Then he will be positive it come from you. Senor Prentice, you lock him up while I go send the message. <clears throat> I'll do that with pleasure. Hasta luego, amigo. I will wait for you tonight at Limestone Rock. Let us hope for much gold, eh? Adios, senores. Well, Marshal, what do you suppose the Attorney General will say when you tell him you've been spending your valuable time trussed up in chains like a hound dog, if you live? <laughs> uh, here, let me lock up them hands of yours. And don't make no wrong moves, mister. You'll get a slug out of this shooting iron. Good work, Jeff. You came just in time. What? Where is he? <coughs> nice work, Friday. You're late. Tossing that iron bar on the floor. Made him turn around just long enough for me to crack him on the hip with this... These handcuffs. By Jiminy, you are greased lightning, all right. We got to work fast. Here's the key for your cave. Sure, you Now, Whitey, slip into this cold catch, Chloe. And get him into yours. Sure. I'll explain my plans while you change. All right, you're the boss, like that. When you get into Prentice Dubs, I tell it as fast as you can to Jeff Allen. Yo. Tell him the note I wrote's a frame-up, but to ship the gold tonight just like the note says. Yo, I get you. And tell him to be sure to wear this under his shirt when he takes the shipment through. Eh, uh, what is that like? It's, a, it's an antique chain breastplate found on the floor. When you get to Jeff Allen, ask him to round up a posse for you and surround limestone rock. But instruct your men not to open fire on the gang till Don Felipe lets loose with that silver bullet at Jeff. Uh, yo, yo. Uh, see, I finish in the coast now, like this. Good. We just lift this coyote and lock him in your chair. Yo. See, uh, what are you going to do, like this? I'm gagging this poor cat. And then laying him on his belly, so, so Don Felipe will think he's asleep face uh, down. Yo, but I mean, uh, what are you going to do while I'm going? I'm staying here and checking the evidence, Whitey. You can expect me tonight at Limestone Rock. No, but suppose Don Felipe come back? That's just why I gotta stay here, Whitey. If Don Felipe came back and found us gone, he'd hightail it out of here. And we wouldn't have no proof that he was the Jasper who had done the killing. We gotta let him go through with the hold up and catch him in the act of trying to kill Jeff Allen. Yo, yo, sure, I see, no. But get going. You ain't got no time to lose. <laughs> Lightning Jim, pretending to be chained and handcuffed, awaits the coming of Don Felipe. <laughs> oh, I see my two brave law eagles are still in their nest. Yes, Don, we know when we're licked. But if we ever get out of here... <laughs> oh, that you will never do, Marshal. When I return with the gold from this holdup, I have plans for you and your deputy. My ancestors have bequeathed me. Not only a heritage of fine weapons, but a knowledge of how to dispose of those who, uh, shall we say, uh, annoy us? Yeah, we take a lot of killing, Don. And if you do torture us to death, just remember there's more United States Marshals where I come from, and they'll get... <laughs> ah, you gringos. You're not clever enough to catch me, senor. No, I shall see that the chains of you and your deputy are good and secure. Now, 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 look here, Don. Now, have a little mercy, can't you? My deputy's worn out worrying about what you're going to do to us. He just fell asleep. Now, now, let him sleep, won't you? Muy bien. I am sure Senor Prentice changed you both well. He's very afraid of your reputation, Marshal. Bueno, 
I go now to gather a little more gold for my storeroom, which, as you all already know to your sorrow, is filled with the gold shipments which are so mysteriously disappeared. <laughs> Just like you will do when I return. <laughs> the masquerade was successful, and unaware of the trap that Lightning Jim had set for him at Limestone Rock, the Spaniard donned his weird white robe with a grinning death's head and rode to meet the gold train. Releasing himself from his chains, Lightning Jim trailed him and joined Whitey in concealment behind a huge boulder. No time for the fight, Whitey. Hey, oh, Lightning, hey, they got the dawn and his teeth in coyote surrounded, and they're just itching for me to give them the word. Listen. By Johnny Slackton, here comes the pack train now. It's the gold train, all right. There's Alan riding around the bend. Look, Whitey, the Spaniard. See him standing on that rock? No, be near me, Lightning. He's aiming to kill Mr. Allen with a silver bullet. I'll show you fire, Whitey. Alan's got on the train armor. We've got to give the Spaniard the first shot. <laughs> there it is. Turn your wounds loose, Whitey. All right, boys. Start firing. <laughs> Ramirez. Oh, you are more clever than I thought. You escape my chains, but you will not escape my silver bullet. Look out, Lightning! Oh. Oh. My gums are and your weapon. Oh, never have I seen a caballero so lightning fast on the draw. Oh, we got him. Thanks, Ramirez. You all right, my son? Sure thing, Miss Allen. Don's bullet didn't even nick me. And now I can prove that Don Felipe is the man who's been killing your guard. Well, that, Senor Marshal, is one thing you cannot prove. Oh, yes, I can, Don Felipe. And that's why I only wounded you and didn't shoot you through your black heart. I'm saving you for a little rope trick used by Uncle Sam. Not so bad as torture, but just as effectively disposed of those who annoy you. Hope you said, Alan. Let me see that chain breastplate you're wearing. Yes, a chain armor. You are clever, Senor Marshal. Hey, uh, Marshal. What are you doing? I'm looking for the silver bullet that was fired at you just a few minutes ago. That is. Like all the other fancy shooting, this one's embedded right over the heart. If Whitey hadn't brought you this armor to wear, you'd be pushing up daisies now. Dad burned if I wouldn't. And so ends another thrilling adventure in the lives of United States Marshal Lightning Jim Whipple and his deputy Whitey Larson. Mm -hmm.